How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. This is your TLC Reviews, your boy Skippy. I'm your boy VP. Welcome back to the corner right here. And as you can see, man, uh, TLC is right around the corner, guys. We're going to talk about some matches that's going to be taking place. Uh, tell you guys what we think about things. And uh, you guys can also comment and tell us what you guys think about things. I don't know. We'll find out. Because, uh, alright, first up, man, I thought it was a Universal Championship match, but evidently it's not. It's a non-title match between Bray Wyatt and The Miz here. So, what do you think, man, about this match? You had some theories earlier. I'm disappointed. I, I think it should have been for the Universal title. Uh, I agree with that. Especially Definitely. with the lack of other titles being defended. But, but I, I'm going to go with The Miz. Um, I even, even when the title was being defended, I, I thought they wanted to take the belt off Wyatt for a little bit. And what better way than, you know, not having a scene at all. But, see, I, 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 I mean, if the, I think if the title was being defended, I'm going to go down the right route. I don't see anybody beating Bray White right now because he's hot. Uh, he's uh, really hot. I just think they the made a mistake Bray White. putting the title on him right now. Right, they should have. Right. Can you, I mean, they could have mm -hmm. kept, probably kept it on Seth Rollins over a Raw, and he could have took it and did his thing with, uh, you know, the yeah, uh, what the hell? Them guys, I forgot to have them. I'm lost. AOP, there you go. He gets his thing with that, you know. But uh, like I said, it's not. It's a non-title match. I picked Bray Wyatt here only because no one knows where Daniel Bryan is. I think if the Miz does win this match, this is a way to win for him to win this match, being a non-title match, and to have Daniel Bryan come out and help the Miz, or well, Skippy's idea, and maybe he's coming out to help bring, uh, Bray Wyatt. I don't know. Yeah, the only thing I do remember reading that they plan on letting this feud with the Fiend and Daniel Bryan go longer. But no, this um, might this might maybe it's a swerve. Maybe this might bring a way a uh, uh, a way to put uh, make make the title match against Daniel Bryan against the Fiend then if. Dan Bryan does end up screwing the Fiend and having the Miz, or I'm sorry, Brett White and having the, yeah. the Miz uh, jump in there and win this match. But yeah, uh, I don't know. There's different thoughts about this match. If you guys uh, tell us what you guys think about it. It's going to be interesting to see how they, what they do, how they go about doing this match. You know, there's different ways you can do it because it's not the Fiend that's wrestling. It's actually Bray White. And he's not, you know, he's bringing the Blue Universal Championship with him, but he's not defending it. So I don't know. It's a shame. Yeah, it is. It's it is really a shame. Uh, next up, man, we had another uh, match, a TLC match, and hopefully this feuds over with afterwards. Uh, you know, King Corbin taking on Big Dog Roman Reigns. We're gonna see what happens here. Of course, I picked Roman. I don't see King Corbin uh, beating Cor uh, Roman Reigns because they have big plans for Roman and they want to give him that push. Uh, still, you know. And there's a lot of you guys out there that are love Roman Reigns still, and there's a lot of you guys out there that are still not a fan of Roman Reigns. But you guys have sympathy for him now because of what he's been through, which is cool too. Either way, I've always liked Roman. I never had a problem with him. Uh, you know, I just felt that maybe they shouldn't have pushed him. I, I think Vince McMahon has a lot. Uh, it's a lot of his fault. A lot of bullshit that happened. The way things happened. He was too stubborn. Yeah. I mean, he just kept pushing him and pushing him. For a while there, he was organically hot, and the fans wouldn't have cared. Yeah, but they, you know, once uh, Vince is pushing someone so far down your throat, man, the taste gets bad. So you see what I'm saying? That's it. It just gets old after a while. But yeah, I like Roman Reigns in this match. Uh, King Corbin, uh, he's probably the best heel to me going today, and the WWE. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Roman too. I, I the only thing I, I'm curious about is is somebody gonna help Roman Reigns because you know you know Dolph Ziggler's gonna be exactly. his King Corbin. And, you but know, you know who else can be there? Bobby Roode. Oh, he's not going to be there. You don't think he's going to be there? Suspended. Yeah, but you know how Randy Orton was suspended too. You know how long that took. I mean, come on. That's for a wellness mm -hmm. policy violation. Yeah, though. Those so. normally stick. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So, there's going to be some kind of sport. I don't yeah. know. I, I'm I sure. Stick Roman, though. I do too. But like you said, I don't think. I don't, if they're really going to push Roman, Roman probably ain't going to have to have anybody else. He could probably take out both these guys and bam. 
and fashion. All right, he can actually turn around handcuff Ziggler so he can't move and just beat the yeah. shot Corbin, so who knows? That shit can backfire on him. You guys, next uh, up, uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship on the line in a ladder match here against my boys of Revival and the New Day. New Day defending these titles. Seven-time champions are defending the titles against the Revival, and I pick the Revival because I've always wanted the Revival to win. I think the Revival deserves to have tag team champions. I, Chip, I don't even think they should have lost against the New Day. I think they should still be champions today. Yeah, I'm going to go the Revival. And part of me wants to say because of a heel turn by Big E or Kofi. I'm going to say the Revival because a heel turn is happening, but it's not going to be the one Kofi or Big E. You guys forgot about XW. He's out there somewhere, so. Uh, broken ankle, I thought. Uh, who knows? Broke something. Crutch the back of the neck. <laughs> I'm just thinking... I don't know. I want to say Kofi is going to turn heel. Do you guys actually think New Day's going to break up? Is it too soon for him to break up? I think it needs a little bit of a break. I don't think they want to, so maybe I'm wrong. I, I know they said they or, never Or, like break you up. said, maybe they do need a little bit of a break. Maybe this is a way to tease them back together because if they break up for a while and the fans are starting to hate, hate the breakup, and uh, if someone's beating the shell out of Big E or someone's beating the shell out of Coffee or Xavier Woods, and you got three on one situation there. This is the way to actually bring these two guys back together again. And uh, if they do break it up, and uh, talk about one hell of a pop, if I have that, that would be like CM Punk coming out for a Royal Rumble when the building exploding. Yeah. <laughs> which is probably most likely going to happen. I'm doubt, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to get you guys' hopes up, but if you guys have been watching backstage, Punk's got that itch. It's coming, dude. AJ Lee has already said no. I'm not coming back. I am very retired. CM Punk has not said he's very retired. He says he has no interest right now. But, you know, big chance. Yeah. You got a month. Money talks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bullshit walks. Definitely. It's going to happen. Something. But anyway, yeah, I picked a rival on that. Uh, next up, man, TLC Women's Tag Team Championship match, which I don't think should, it should take place, but I, not with the competitors that's got, I don't think. Uh, the Kabuki Warriors are the champions going against Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair here. I pick Becky and Charlotte to win because I don't see why would they just throw these girls together? For what? For what reason? You guys know why. Because Charlotte needs a belt. Charlotte's a star. Becky Lynch is a star because she's already a Raw Championship. She's not defending the Raw Championship. So what the hell else are they going to do with her? They're going to end up ruining the Kabuki Warriors' title reign for these two fucking women right here. I'm sorry to say it like that, but I think it's the truth. I don't think Charlotte Flair should be teaming up with Becky Lynch at all in this match. I think this is wrong. If they're going to tag team up Charlotte with somebody, it should not be with the Raw Women's Champion. Hmm. It should not be with the Raw Women's Champion. I'm sorry. It should not. I thought Natalia. You know, I hate Natalia. They just have like a, a dynasty type. You know who they should really t- tag team t- 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 her, tag her up with? But she's on SmackDown. It should have been Lacey Evans. Charlotte, can you imagine that? Lacey and Charlotte. There you go. The queen and the fucking, uh, what do they call her? The, the nasty hater. I don't know. The Southern Belle. The Southern Belle and the queen. There you go. But I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to go with the Kabuki Warriors simply because, well, why not? I don't think we need another Becky Two Belts. Which, is that, which, if you guys didn't hear, Charlotte did comment something like that. On last week's SmackDown, or Raw, I'm sorry, on yeah. Raw. I so just, I just don't see why they would put the belts on those two. I think the Kabuki Warriors right now are pretty hot. And why would them. they waste? I don't understand why they're wasting time. Why? Because they want to throw Vicky in math because she ain't got a feud. Yeah, for they Raw title put against the, the Kabuki Warriors, the Iconics, or Fire and Desire, or Crisscross Applesauce, whatever. West Cross, I don't fucking know what the fuck they call it. But it, it just sucks. Yeah, why these two? Why? I mean, fuck. I have no answer. Bailey and Sasha, for all I care. At least they, you know, actually made a sense of the fact. Well, of course, game. Bailey can't because she's WWE or SmackDown Women's Champion. But, but I, they're doing for Becky. I know. I don't understand. Why would you throw a champion? Why? 
eight the champions in a match by themselves. How come we can't have Bailey two belts? I'd rather watch Bailey and Sasha go against. I'd them. rather watch Jessamyn Duke and Marina Shafir jump in the ring with the Kabuki Warriors than these clowns. I'm dead serious right now. I'm dead serious right now. I mean, I really would. Uh, you could put uh, Candice LeRae with T and Knox. If Knox would know what? Right now. I'd rather watch Beth Phoenix and Santina Morella. Santina Morella. Yeah, I you know I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I, look, I I like Becky Lynch. I like Charlotte, and I love the Kabuki Wars. But this is not. I don't think this should be in tag team together, dude. I don't think this should even be taking place at TLC. And this is a TLC match too. This is Tables, yeah. Ladders, Jairs match. So there you go. Go figure. If it's a TLC match, it's not a ladder match, right? So it's not like they're, they're not hanging there. One of these titles on the ladder, are they? They might. Are they going to hang it? Titles. I mean, that, now, that might be it's, a little it's interesting. It's still. Ways. Like, like Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns, that's a TLC match that's going to end in pinfall. Right. But the I, Revival and the New Day are actually a ladder match. So that match is taking place. The titles are going to be hung up. Yeah. So there you go. I'm not sure here because it, it goes either way. Like, it, however they feel like, I guess. We'll find out. That would make the most sense, you would think. Because you already got tables and ladders. Or, yeah. The you original tables and chairs. matches all had belts. Hang hung up. Yeah. It's Edge Christian. Yeah. Dudley's. The Hardys. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Who, who yeah. Forget? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. I, I would I would hope that they're, the titles are suspended and you got to climb the ladder, but... You guys really care, though. I know some of you guys do, because uh, all four of these women are great athletes. But they are all expected, and respected in their own right as great athletes. But uh, the whole story situation, that why they're getting thrown together, is nonsense. Just because you got the Raw Women Champions that that's not in a, that's, that does not have a title match. You know. Speaking of that, is. Another thing that was that was not written down that I didn't write down, which is taking place, Bailey is defending her SmackDown Women's Champion against Lacey Evans. Is it? Yeah. She is defending. I forgot about that match. Hmm. So there you go. So you will. Be, now I didn't guess it's a regular match though. That's not a TLC or a ladder or a table. It could be a chairs match maybe. That, that might know, be place. I, I don't know. But yeah, but she is defending against Lacey. I forgot about that whole situation there. Uh, I know they were feuding, but I didn't know that they were right. match official. So, yeah. So, there you go, man. I don't know. They just found these women just uh, so Becky and Charlotte won't bitch, I guess. So, I'd be in a match. I don't know. Because you're not going to have a, a pay-per-view without the Queen or the Raw Women's Champion. So, ooh. You know, Becky's already been getting pissed off these last couple of weeks. She has n nothing to do on Raw. So, yeah. there you go. Next up, man. I hope this feud ends, too. This feud needs to end. Finally, tables match, Rusev against Bobby Lashley. What's your thoughts on this, dude? Well, first of all, I think it should have been a ladder match. And at the top of the ladder should be uh, a marriage certificate to Lana. And Whoever person... loses gets her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, it, this needs to end. Yeah. Um, I definitely see Rusev finally getting the upper hand. I got Rusev in this match, too. So, you know... If they go that way, then awesome. If not, then that means this is probably going to drag on. Yeah. This is probably going to drag on. If, this, if Bobby Lashley ends up winning this match, it's probably going to drag on probably another week, couple weeks. If Lashley wins, it's because of Lana. Yeah. And that's Bobby. And it'll continue, like you said. It probably will happen. Uh, next match uh, to take place is uh, Alistair Black going against Buddy Murphy. This match right here is a sleeper match to me. This match can probably steal the whole damn show. It, will. it really can. Buddy Murphy's awesome. Alistair Black is awesome. Uh, I don't see Murphy beating Black. But that's just the thing, though. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean it should not happen. Can you imagine Buddy Murphy actually beating Alistair Black in this match? That will set his ass on fire, Buddy Murphy, boy. I'm telling you. You know what I think? Even though I do got Black winning the match, guys. They should have never broke up Ricochet and Alistair Black on the tag team. Well, yeah, I don't know. They were really hot. They were really good and as then, a team. I agree yeah. with that. They were. And, yeah, I mean, I think they could be tag team champions. I'd, I'd love to see them face the Viking Raiders. 
that could have been the team to be announced. Yeah. Because the Viking Raiders is also in this uh, whole TLC match. And uh, they have not decided. Uh, I don't know what the opponent is. That's they, to be announced. Yeah, it's open issue. challenge. Yeah, open challenge. So I'm thinking the OC. It makes sense. With you all say our, You say Anderson and Gallo. Yeah. Right? Oh, I don't know. With the whole best tag team in the world shit going on, and it just makes sense. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say uh, it's no one from Raw and it's no one from SmackDown. I'm going to say it's a team from NXT, or it could be a team from NXT UK. I'm hearing rumors it could be uh, uh, Mark Andrews and uh, Flash Morgan Webster. But, or it could also be the Grizzled Young Veterans from the UK that come in there. It could be people from Gallus. It could even be your uh, uh, Imperium guys. I don't know. But who I think it's going to be, it's going to be Rosanga. <laughs> the Singh brothers, oh my god. Brazongo is probably gonna step up and take the match against the Viking Raiders and beat the Viking Raiders all for right, the Raw right, right, Hold, on. hold on. Did you smoke something before we started? <laughs> no, actually I do got the Viking Raiders circled here. That means that I did pick them at to win this match, but the only reason why I picked them to win this match because I have no idea who the opponent is. And they're just so dominant right now. How do you exactly. Really against them? Exactly. I'm thinking it's the OC, and I'm still going with the Viking Raiders. Well, there you go. Uh, but if it is OC, I believe the OC needs to win this match. I think they only because yeah. you got the United States champion. That could be the United States champion if they do end up doing that. Yeah. I don't know. With Ray, we'll probably get some last minute add-ons. <laughs> yeah. And see, that's the thing, guys. With this, we they don't give us all the matches, so we can only give you guys what we think, what, what we do know the matches are. And this just goes back to this is the, I mean, too many specials in a row. We went straight from Survivor Series to Starcade to this. The and Starcade wasn't even all that great. It was an hour long. They didn't show them the, all the matches. Yeah, we just need more time in between these shows and I to think set so up too. these good feuds and stuff. Right. Do you see how uh, you guys remember Survivor Series? The whole, how everything came together like a, uh, like a butter, dude. It was awesome. Uh, the whole NXT, how the whole storyline just shifted back and forth from Raw, SmackDown and NXT, and back and forth. It was beautiful. It was like a storybook telling. Now it's like, you know, once again, Raw and SmackDown are like losing. People are losing interest in them. But uh, if this other match takes place, uh, if uh, Bailey ends up defending the woman, SmackDown Women's Championship on this show, TLC, maybe in chairs match against Lacey Evans or whatever, I am going to pick Lacey Evans to win because, I, because that's what I want to win. I think she deserves the SmackDown Women's Championship, but I don't see her winning because the factor being Sasha Banks in this match, or you know, being Bailey's uh, partner. So, yeah. I don't know. If that match doesn't take place, who do you got in that? We'll go with Bailey. I hate it, but yeah, Bailey. Where you guys go? Uh, that match is not. It's not for sure. It's hearsay, but we think that's going to just like the uh, hearsay about uh, AJ and Rey Mysterio, uh, Viking Raiders. That is going to take place, but we don't know who they're fighting in open challenge. So there you guys go. Uh, please like, comment, and share on everything uh, we said here. And tell us what you guys think on every match. Tell us who you guys think is going to win between Ray White and The Miz. Tell us who you gonna think thinks going to win against King Corbin, Roman Reigns, The New Day, Revival, uh, Kabuki Wars, Charlotte Becky, you know, Black, Murphy, Rusa, but lastly, uh, and uh, the Viking Raiders or Brazongo or... Bailey and Lacey Evans. I don't know who else. Maybe, maybe the the NXT Cruiserweight Championship is going to be defended. I don't know. Leo Rush is going to uh, go against uh, Marco Stunt. Who knows what's going to happen here? Well, uh, it'd be Angel Garza, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, Angel Garza against Marco Stunt because I forgot Leo Rush is no longer the Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, and speaking of that, uh, we got some, we're pretty avid uh, figure collectors. Well, him not so much. He's into autographs. Me and uh, the Spirit of 71 are into figures and stuff like that. And me and the Spirit was talking earlier tonight. Uh, can you imagine if they sell Marco Stunt as a figure? How much will it be? 
I, I told uh, the spirit probably half off. <laughs> Go figure. He said, well, they might sell uh, him and Hornswoggle on a two-pack together. You know, it's <laughs> at full price. <laughs> or uh, Leah Rush. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. But, yeah, that's, uh, you guys, uh, that is your TLC preview. So, tonight, uh, it's going to take place, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, maybe there might be a lot of surprises. There might be some turns. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But as of right now, the car does not look too bad. But then again, it does. So it's like in the middle to me, for me. Right now, it's 50 50. Anything can happen. It could go really good. It could go really bad. And I'm not expecting it to go really good. So, because it usually doesn't. Yeah, especially with Vince <laughs> behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? It's a shame that there's only, what? One of two official title matches on the show. None of your heavyweights because they're both. I mean, Bray Wyatt is not part time, but I mean, part part time really? champions. Really? Why are you going to have a Raw champion, the WWE champion, and throw that belt on Brock Lesnar when he never works? Why would you do that to your championship? I don't understand that. And, you know, before you'd have guys step up and make the mid card titles worth it, but right now. They're not worth a shit. Shinsuke's not defending the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Ray's not defending that we know of. It could happen. The United States Championship. It should happen, but... You know? Uh, uh, it's just a shame. I'd love to see Ray and Ricochet and... Alexa and Mandy's not defending the Bikini Championship. I don't know what the hell's going on here. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I don't know what they're doing. You got belts, and you're not even using them. Non-title match. There's only two title matches that I see. Yeah. And both of them are the tag team title matches. Yeah. Well, three. Uh, all tag team belts are being defended. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot <clears throat> to smack the women's title match because, you know, yeah. you know, I forgot. It's only the tag team match, the title matches are being defended. The tag team championships. The women's and the guys. So, there you go. So, you know, nothing else is uh, really major going on with that. I hope storylines do end. There's a few of them that do the end, and a few of them that probably still keep on going. Uh, Murphy and Black can probably go on for a while. Rusev and Lashley need to end. Uh, Becky and the Kabuki Wars and Charlotte just needs a. That shouldn't even be taking place at all. Uh, the New Day Revival needs to end right here because I think Revival needs to win the titles. New Day needs to split up, and that's the stat. King Corbin and Roman need to end. I think Bray Wyatt and The Miz and Daniel Bryan's situation will probably go on a little longer. It will. And, and it's good, so I know. It's, yeah. It's entertaining. It's probably the best story going into right. this. Uh, Bray Wyatt is the Mr. Rogers of WWE. He is the Chris Jericho to your AEW. That's yeah. platinum, gold. So there you go. And it's funny. Is Seth Rollins going against Kevin Owens? I... I think they're going to sell the Kevin Owens injury from the curb stomp on the concrete. I, I think it'll be a little while before we get back to that. Okay. You see how shit, shit sounds here? This is stupid. You're going to sell that for a while, but then somebody's going to get thrown off the damn scaffold at WrestleMania and the wrestle of next week. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. There's some weird shit going on. That's what I'm saying. Uh, these, these writers didn't get their shit together and actually... You know, come up with some good, good uh, content. I don't understand. See, they don't want to scrap this card because they ain't got nothing else to do. They got nothing for nobody. Nope. That's why they throw and half these matches together. Hopefully, we're getting a clean slate. I bet you. Know, I bet you right now. Right now, a Sunday morning, you guys. I'm telling you right now. TLC is the night. I bet you right now at this point, they still do not have opponents. For the Viking Raiders. <laughs> they are still thinking about it. Right now. It'll be local jobbers like uh, Rick Lieb and uh, Jason the 13th. Yeah. There you go. Rick Lieb and Jason the 13th. Can you see that bunch? Oh, well. But anyway, yeah. I, actually, I'd rather see Rick Lieb and Jason the 13th. I mean, uh, oh, I'd love to see Jason get slammed around a little bit. Besides in the bedroom. I'd like to see your role model Rick Lee slap the shit out of Jason 13th and the Viking Raiders. 
and take the belts for himself because he's your role model. There you go. How do you like that shit? <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think of this whole ordeal, this whole deal, and uh, let's get back with us, man. Please comment, like, share, you know, subscribe, hit that little post notification button up there, that little belt button. It us everything. Let us know what you think about this whole TLC, you know, the matches, and what can happen, uh, what you like to see happen. Uh, I expect to see me eat a brick of cheese, let me know. Yeah, well, that, that's very possible, because that can happen. Uh, mm -hmm. So there you go. Okay. But yeah, let us know, you guys, and as for your boy Skippy and your boy BP right here, uh, thank you guys so much for joining us right back here on the corner.